Crafters, today I am going to show you how to do the art project, Snakes in the Grass. So, what you're going to need is in your packet you will find a piece, a piece of green paper, a piece of blue paper, and a piece of white paper. You will also need for this project a pencil, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, you'll probably want an eraser, and then some crayons or markers, whichever you'd like. So the first thing that you're going to do, what you can actually do is you can take this white piece of paper right here, you can set that off to the side. Take this blue piece of paper, you can set this off to the side first. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your green piece of paper. Now we need to make our grass first. Now there's lots of different ways you can make your grass. Um, I'm going to draw my grass really tall. But one thing that you want to remember when you're drawing your grass is you don't want to make it too close together because then it might be kind of hard to cut out. So I'm gonna draw my grass really tall like this, but I'm not gonna make it too close together because it could be really hard to cut out if I do that. And it might take me a really long time. And Miss J, would you go over that? And I'm gonna do that. You know you. what, Miss Kenyon? I just thought about that. I was like, you know what? That might be hard for the kindergartners to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trace over that with my black marker here. There we go. You can see I made my grass really, really tall. All the way, almost off the paper. Once you've drawn your grass, then you're going to cut it out. So what you'll do is you'll just cut along those lines you made. You probably don't need to use a black marker. I'm just doing the black marker so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut all the way around like this. Now, I'm going to actually, whew, I just had a fly land on my face. Yeah. Um, since I knew I was going to be doing this for you guys, I do, 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 magically already cut out my grass. Once you've cut your grass out, so look at this one, so you can see I did this one a little bit different. This one's tall, this one's a little bit shorter. You can do it however you like. Once you've finished cutting out your grass, you're going to take that blue piece of paper and you're going to take your glue stick. Now, it's very important that you don't put glue on all of your grass. So. You're going to take this glue stick and you're just going to put it right down here on the bottom of your grass. You want those long pieces of grass to be able to still move around on your paper. So I'm going to take that and put the glue stick, the glue all the way down just on the bottom part. I'm going to turn it over and then I'm going to glue it onto my blue piece of paper like so. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and set that off to the side and let that glue dry. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our white piece of paper. Now for our white piece of paper, this is what we're gonna use to make our snakes. Now what really helps me is I'll make a dot on each corner of the paper. So I'll make one over here, and I'll kind of make one over here. That helps me to know where I'm drawing to. So on this side, I'm gonna start out with the head. So I'm gonna kind of make a head like this. And then I'm going to make a squiggly line just on one side. And I don't want to make it too squiggly because, again, that might be kind of hard to cut out. Then on the other side, I'm going to follow along. So I'm going to try to make my line the same as I made my other line on the other side. And I'm going to come down to a point where that dot is at the end. Once I finish that, I'm going to draw my eyes in like so right here. I'll kind of make a little head for my snake. Then you get to make a pattern on your snake. Now you can do your pattern any way you'd like to. I chose blue and orange for my pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an orange stripe and then a blue stripe and then an orange stripe and then I'm gonna do three blue dots. What's gonna come next? That's right, Miss Kenyon, an orange stripe. Orange stripe. Then what? A blue stripe. An orange stripe. And three blue dots. I'm going to finish that pattern all the way down my snake. I'm going to go kind of quick so that you guys don't have to watch me draw because nobody wants to see Miss Jane draw. That can be kind of boring. Right there. And at the very end, orange blue, and lastly, orange. Then I'm going to cut out that snake. So I want to make sure I cut along those lines. I'm going to go kind of quick, but you 
you guys take your time so that you cut it out really nice and stay in those on that line. Now, remember, you can do any kind of pattern that you want to do. So, if you feel like you want to do lots of different colors, you can do lots of different colors. You can even use one different color and do different kinds of lines. So, there's zigzag lines, you can do swirly lines, you can do X's, you could even do letters if you wanted to. Any kind of design, any kind of pattern that you want to do is up to you. You could use lots of colors if you wanted to, any way you'd like to do it. So I'm almost done cutting out that snake. I'm almost, almost done, and I did it. All right, so I'm going to put this paper off to the side. Now I am going to pull back out my blue piece of paper with my grass on it, and it's all nice and dry now. So remember, our art project is called Snakes in the Grass. So what I'm going to do is... Remember how I left these pieces of grass so I can move them around? I'm going to take my snake and I'm going to kind of place them in the grass. So you can kind of play around with it and see how you want your snake to be in the grass. And once you've decided how you'd like your snake to be in the grass, oh, I kind of like them like that, then you're going to make figure out what you want to do. Take out your snake. You'll put some glue on there. Make sure you get enough glue so it stays on there. Got plenty of glue on there. Then... Remember, let's see, what did I do last time? Oh, I remember, because I planned ahead. Do that, my snake is in the grass. I'm gonna press it down, and ta-da, snakes in the grass. Hope you enjoyed that art project, kindergartners. See you soon.